It's time now for our Wednesday edition of Arirang's The World Now. I'm Kim Jae-hee. Let's start off with violent protests in the U.S. over the shooting Sunday of African-American Jacob Blake by police in a southeastern Wisconsin city. This coming just three months after the death of George Floyd at the hands of a Minneapolis police officer that sparked nationwide protests. 29-year-old Blake was shot multiple times in the back by police on Sunday evening as he attempted to get into his car with his three sons, ages 8, 5 and 3, said to be inside. That man literally just grabbed him by his shirt and looked the other way and was just shooting him with the kids in the back screaming, screaming. While I'm trying to fight this woman cop saying, let me get my kids out the car. Her Blake is now paralyzed from the waist down with his family attorney saying it would take a miracle for him to walk again. Following Sunday's incident, the footage of the shooting filmed by a bystander quickly spread on social media prompting widespread protests. Wisconsin's governor declared a state of emergency on Tuesday after some protesters looted businesses and set fire to buildings and cars.